Basic animation in Create.js. Introducing Tween Easing. Produced by Lon Hosford. This video is background information for using the East class in the Tween.js library. If you'd rather jump right into the code example, feel free to skip ahead to the next video. For updated links used in this video, check the video description. Tweening uses formulas for computing a change's percentage of completeness at a given tween time point. The default formula is a linear computation. It is the percentage of completeness in change equal to the percentage of expired tween time. For example, if 40% of the tween's duration has transpired, then 40% of the change value is applied to the property being tween. This results in a uniform speed of change for the duration of the tween. Easing refers to formulas for accelerating or decelerating the speed of change during the tween without changing the duration of the tween. There are a variety of easing formulas. The two you see here we use in this video series. Notice the duration of all the tweens is the same. Both of these examples have a tween running from the top left to the bottom right of the stage. Then pause before a reverse tween back to the top left. Tween.js library has an ease class with static methods for popular computations. These methods are used in the optional third argument of the tween class 2 method. The equations are based on the work of Robert Penner and are a de facto standard for animation libraries in multiple languages, from jQuery to Adobe Flash and Flex. Some of the names of the easing methods give you a hint for how they work. Some seem to call for a foundation in geometry, trigonometry, or physics to guess what they do. To help, the CreateJS website has a preview page set up. When the page opens, you see the default linear tweening method animated. To see it animated again, click on the linear link. The line graph shows you the equation pattern and gives you an idea of the property changes over the course of the tween. Now try the bounce out equation. Try bounce in out. Try back out. To help you compare the tool phase align graph for two previous equations you tried, click on linear. Now overlay elastic in on what we have. And you have a comparison of the change from linear to elastic in. The in and out suffix refer to ease in and ease out. Ease in starts slow and accelerates. Ease out starts fast and decelerates. Click linear and we can compare an ease in and ease out method. We will use the quintic easing method. It is a formula that slopes the time changes by the fifth power. Click quint in easing. You see the acceleration at the end of the duration. Now click quint out. And the acceleration is at the beginning. Experiment more as you like. In the next video, we'll apply easing to a tween. Thank you for watching.